I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. Today we're going to assemble this cosplay 3D printed sword we just finished printing, but we're also going to talk about the glues we use to assemble this. One of my favorites is this JB Weld uh, epoxy, but a lot of people use super glue and you see a lot of influencers talking about 3D glue. So we're going to explore all three of these projects and look at the pros and cons of each one for assembling your 3D printed projects. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. <laughs> 3D printed glue, super glue, and epoxy are commonly used in assembling uh, 3D printed projects, each with distinct characteristics suited for different aspects of 3D printing. 3D printed gloop is designed specifically for 3D printing. They have versions specifically formulated for PLA, PETG, and ABS. Each designed to ensure optimal adhesion for the different types of material. Now 3D printed gloop is easy to apply. It has a brush that you just brush onto both sides of your 3D printed part and it's fast setting. And beyond bonding parts, you could actually use it for repairs and surface finishing. Now super glue is one of the fastest setting glues you could find as well as being good for doing repairs on 3D prints as well as bonding small parts. When we did this 3D printing horn because of its interesting shape we weren't really able to clamp the pieces together so we used super glue. Now super glue is also really efficient on a variety of materials but remember what you're trying to bond together should be really cleaned and prepped before you use super glue. Now one of the limitations of super glue is it really isn't all that flexible and it's actually quite brittle. So it works perfect on things like this horn, but things that really need mechanical strain or have stress on them, you may need to use a different option for your 3D prints. Now JB Weld for plastics is a specific formula of JB Weld specifically for plastics and I do use this a lot in my 3D prints. I assemble this hammer with JD Welds for plastics. Now JB Weld for plastics is suitable for bonding heavy or large 3D printed parts such as that hammer that need really durable connections. Now this epoxy is really good for 3D printed items that are going to be under a lot of strain or stress. It offers more flexibility and strength for plastics than the standard epoxies that are out there that are made for general use. Similar to its general use counterpart, JP Weld epoxies come in two parts and they need to be mixed before applying to the surface of your 3D prints. Let's get this sword assembled, let's open up our gloop, and let's start attaching the pieces. As you can see here, I'm using a dowel inside of my 3D print in order to create some additional stability as this is a pretty large sword. Now I'm putting the gloop on both sides of the 3D print and applying it pretty generously. As you see here, once I put one part on my dowel rod, I'm going to add the other part and I'm going to press them together, making sure they're lined up. Now we're just going to repeat this with all the other pieces. I'm just going to fast forward this so you guys don't have to watch all of this. So as you can see, I have to do a little bit of repair to the guard of this sword. I inadvertently knocked it off the table and part of the guard just snapped off. I'm just going to put some gloop on both pieces and let's actually see how this works. I mean, it does have infill, so I'm curious how well this is going to stay. Actually, it looks like it's staying pretty well here. I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then let's get the rest of our guard fitted to make sure we could do it. And as you can see on this part of the guard, I ran out of the gold filament. So my printer automatically switched uh, in the AMS to the white because that was the only other color in the filament. I wasn't really planning on painting this sword, but it looks like I maybe, or I'm gonna have this weird half gold, half white guard on one side of the sword. Now let's just get this guard all fitted together. 
Now the goop seems to be holding pretty quickly when I put everything together. I'm just gonna bond now that the two pieces of the guard are together. I'm gonna bond the top of the sword with the bottom part of the sword that actually goes into the guard. Now I'm pretty much compressing as hard as I can to make sure everything's together. Now let's fit the grip on and then we'll get the pommel onto the end of it. And as you can see here, the pummel actually stays pretty quickly. Now let's give it a few seconds. And I'm actually going to try to lift this sword. And it feels pretty stable already. And as you can see here, I'm able to lift the sword within just a couple of minutes. And there's very little movement. Everything actually seems pretty solid together. At this point, I'd say the glue bonded a lot quicker than I thought it would. I'm gonna let this thing sit overnight as the instructions say, but as you can see, it seems pretty stable already. The pummel staying on, even as I rotate the sword, nothing shifting. It seems pretty tight already. I'm barely able to shift the thing. So I would say gloop actually dries relatively quickly. When you're choosing the right adhesive for your 3D printed projects, make sure you look at the specific requirements. For instance, can you clamp it? Maybe you need something like super glue, or does it have heavier parts and you need something like JB Weld or 3D printed glue? 3D printed glue is good for enhancing the appearance and durability of 3D printed parts, and it is tailored towards the type of material or filament you are using, such as PLA, ABS, or PETG. Superglue offers a quick solution, especially for odd shaped parts, but its brittleness really limits it in structural applications. JD Weld for plastics should be used on projects that require the utmost strength and durability or objects that are going to be handled a lot during their lifetime. Now there are many options out there to adhere your 3D prints together, many of them we didn't even discuss. But with all glues, epoxies, and chemicals, safety is of the utmost importance. So make sure you're working in a well-vented space as well as using protective gear while you're working with most adhesives or any chemicals, especially, you know, like when you glue your fingers together with super glue, you really, you really don't want that. For more on 3D printing, technology, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making.